Hi everybody. I got the messy bun in. These are the greatest things that were ever invented for a girl like me who has no time to do their hair. And you put it, your hair in a pony and bing, you're ready to go. <laughs> Perfect for a girl like me who has no time. Anyway, um, I'm back today. We're going to do goat's milk soap. And I already have this pre-frozen. It's hard for me to find it where I am. So when I do, I buy it and freeze it. So I always have it ready. So we're gonna be doing today a tea tree soap, which I have a request for. And so I'm gonna be making this for one of my new customers. Don't go away. Okay, so I'm back. Um, usually what I do Oh, I'm sliding away here, is, um, and I fix my bun. It's just too fun. Usually what I do with my goat's milk soap is I put this into ice cube trays. This time I didn't because I had a lot of goat's milk, and I thought maybe I could bust it up. But um, instead of doing that, I'm going to do two batches. So I'm going to multiply my recipe times two, and we're gonna do one other soap. And I think we're gonna do something for men. I'm, I've had some people who want the men's soap and I'm gonna do a bay rum as well. So we're gonna do two soaps today, a tea tree soap, which is antiseptic and a bay rum. And uh, it's gonna be beautiful for the men. So stay tuned, two batches coming up all at once. And we'll show you how we do it. So don't go away. Okay, so I've got my goat's milk in here now. And my recipe called for 16.25 ounces of water. And I took that times two because I'm doubling the batch. And this just worked out to be like perfect. I was like um, 2.75 ounces short. So I added 2.75 ounces of water and that gave me my exact measurements. So a little bit of water into the goat's milk, but that's not gonna hurt anything because it's the water that is gonna make up the difference for this recipe. But as you can see, that's quite a bit of goat's milk here. It's gonna be beautiful soap. Okay, I don't wanna show you my recipe of where I got it from very quickly here. But our lye counts for 9.36 in this recipe. So I took the 9.36 times two, and that gives me 18.72 ounces of lye. And my scale scales to like the quarter ounce, so I'm gonna be putting 18.75 ounces of lye. Okay, so here we've measured it out. So one pound is 16 ounces, 17, 18.75. So there is our lye for this recipe. And now we're gonna add that into our goat's milk and I'll show you how okay. we do it. So these big buckets, I'll tell you, I love them. Dollar Store Pro Painter. They've been working really good for me. So because our goat's milk is frozen, we're not gonna add our lye all at once. So you add your lye very, very slowly because we wanna keep it cold. So this is gonna take a while for it to melt. And while we do that, we're gonna work on our oils and this is how we do it. So we just pour a little bit at a time, let it melt. I'm probably going to swish it around a little bit after I shut this off. And then we'll come back and we'll show you uh, some more. Don't go away. I just did that not even a minute ago. And look at how much it's melting already. So if you added your lye really quickly all at once, that goat's milk's going to burn. So I'm lucky I have a cold basement here as well. So that helps. But you can see how quickly this is going to melt. 
this is why we add it really really slow so just a little bit at a time is all you want to do don't overdo it slow and sure wins the race is what i say be the turtle not the hare this is a waiting time okay this is my calculations here um we've added our sweet almond oil and our castor oil that's in my bucket now but this is our olive oil and because this recipe we're doubling it the recipe called for 19.5 and you time you know times two is three or 39.0 so that's my next calculation for olive oil and let's check our goat's milk you can see it is melting a little bit and we're going to just add some more a little bit down into the bottom and i'm just going to swirl that around and we'll just let that melt so it's you know it's a process right so we're getting there okay don't go away well, this is the uh, coconut oil that i have here and it is refined and organic and I got this um, from my local superstore here it was on sale for $15 a bottle or jar I suppose it is and it's 1.6 liters so it was a really good deal if I find it I buy it because you know it's expensive so this is what we'll be adding and it's going to be the same calculation as our olive oil so as you can see look at my notes funny how you know what you're doing anyway coconut olive and palm they're all the same at 19.5 so we're going to be doing that times two and making that 39.0 because we're doubling the recipe. So that is uh, melting as we speak. And this is coming along nice and slow. So we're just gonna just keep working away at that. This is our palm oil here. And I got to open a brand new bucket because my other one, I just used it up. How exciting is that? I get my palm oil from Cranberry Lane. They are in British Columbia in Canada. Really good product and really good service I get from these people. So this is where I get mine from. And so we've measured it out. This is a double recipe again, as we're talking about. And 16 and uh, two pounds is 32 plus seven ounces makes 39. So now we're going to melt this coconut oil here now. Look at the lie spot, see that's what it does. It's my mixing counter, and I've gone over by 0.25 of an ounce. Is it going to make much difference? No, if you make that little bit of a mistake, I don't worry about it. So, we're getting there. We're melting our palm oil now in the microwave, which is how I do it. I do have an element here, but I usually just do it here. And uh, we're almost ready to go. Okay, so let's take a look at our goat's milk here. Now, I've given this a bit of a stir a couple of times. And as you can see, it's still frozen, but it's not burning. So a little bit at a time. Because the best what way is, I'm just gonna add some into the side here. See how much I put in? Not much. And I did flip this little iceberg around to the other side. I'm going to just keep stirring it like this. And we'll let it melt some more. Okay, we'll come back when everything is ready. 
See you in a few minutes. So, I had to transfer everything into the great big bucket. I have an extra one here. And uh, hopefully, it'll be enough for our lye solution here, which I think it will be. But that's going to be a lot of soap, you guys. Ooh, wow. Too fun. So everything is uh, melted down here and mixed all together. And now we're just waiting on the lye and everything to kind of cool off together here. So when that happens, we'll be back. See you shortly. Hey guys, we're getting there and we're starting to get our products ready for our soap uh, making here and are the ingredients that we're gonna use. And we are going to add some French green clay into our men's soap here. It gives a nice little um, natural color as well as a bit of a slip on the razor. Um, so if the men want to use that for shaving or whatnot, um, this is going to be a nice natural touch to this soap. Uh, we're also using Nature's Garden Bay Rum Fragrance. And I always add a little bit of allspice to this soap. And it's one of my favorite soaps for men. So um, here's hoping that it all works out here today. This is the next um, soap that we're gonna do with this batch. We are going to make uh, tea tree soap, which is antiseptic. And this one is from Majestic Pure. And it's a premium quality therapeutic grade essential oil. And I get this one from a place in Thunder Bay called Kelly's Nutrition. And this is good for an antiseptic and it's a product of Australia. It's really uh, quite strong, but you know, tea tree is a healing uh, essential oil for things like head lice for one. So, I mean, if your children are suffering with anything like that, you could use this soap as um, a treatment and, you know, use it in their hair and their body to kill that bacteria um, for wounds or burns or, um, you know, just soothing uh, psoriasis or anything like that. Um, acne blackheads you know it's an antiseptic so if there's a germ on the skin this might aid in in getting rid of that and get your skin back to uh, being you know um, conditioned and clean and detoxified and uh, it does have that antiseptic smell which shows that it's medicinal you know and this kind of stuff is so good for your skin if you have you know skin ailments or skin issues it might help aid in some recovery um i'm thinking i don't know yet if i'm going to do it but i have because i think tea tree is kind of green and i think i might add a little bit of this china jade uh, mica and this has come from tkb trading I think it's a beautiful color. So I think we might just add a little bit of that just to give this a nice, beautiful green color to match the soap. Not much, just a tad. And if I don't do that, I might add the French green clay to keep it more natural. So I haven't really decided yet on that, but um, we'll see when we get to mixing things. And let's just check on our goat's milk again, because I'm still waiting. And as you can see, it's getting smaller. And our goat's milk is not burned. This is how much more lye I got to put in there. So, I mean, we're still waiting, but in the meantime, we get stuff ready. There's our oils. They're cooling down. So yeah, waiting game if you want to do this kind of a soap. That's how long it takes. So far, uh, I think we've been about an hour. So um, we'll get to it as soon as this is ready.
thanks for watching everybody i really appreciate it so if you like our videos maybe now's the time to subscribe and maybe i could teach you a little bit more about what i do so thanks again see you shortly i don't know does anybody else's soap room look like mine I don't know. I've got quite a bit of stuff. And here's my favorite drink right now is the Canada Dry. Oh, that's in French. Cranberry ginger ale. So good, guys. Soda gingembre. Oh, cranberge. Ah, that's French. I'm probably saying it wrong. But this is so good. So this is my Christmas drink. I don't drink alcohol. I don't like it. So anyway, I just thought I would come back because I'm still waiting. But look, guys, it's almost gone. And it's not gotten burnt. Look how much more I still have to put. You know, so maybe we'll add a little bit more. I don't know how many other soap make makers show you, you know, how they do stuff. But this is how I do stuff, and I thought it would be fun to kind of show you all, you know, the process of making soap. How I do it at home, right. anyway. So I've got them all ready. And I've got extra here. I love this one. I got this from Wish. Oh. I got into some oil here, so I'm going to have to wipe this one out. But I love this one. It says flower essential oil. And then on the one side, it says one leaf. And they turn out really, really nice. These ones I also got from Wish. These are really good molds here. And these I bought long, long time ago when I first started making soap. And they have a beautiful little ripple design inside there with a leaf. And at the time, because I'm Nature's Touch Soap, which I am changing my name, um, it kind of went with my, my name. So I'm going to make a couple of these today. Okay, you guys. I'm back. We are finally ready to go with this soap. So roughly it's been two hours since we started melting down our goat's milk, which is all in here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful color, not burnt. And what I like about it is as you're slowly melting this milk down with your lye, it's cooling off pretty much at the same time. Our oils here have cooled down. This is about the same temperature as this. I don't measure with a thermometer. I go by the touch here. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And I'm ready to go, you know? I, I've done it long enough that you just kind of know. So let's hope I don't get overflowed into this big bucket here. Like, I don't even know how many liters is this bucket. Not even sure. Whatever. It's a big bucket. Lots of soap. So, we're going to get mixing here. And I'm not going to really blend it too much. Because I don't want this to thicken up on me. So, we're going to just pour this slowly over the stick blender. I guess I should scrapey scrapey that out of there. That's not my terminology, as you know. If you're a soap maker, the scrapey scrapey is the royalty soap. But I you just can't help but say it, right? So anyway, that is done. I gotta get the lye bucket out of my way. So here comes the noise. I'm not gonna really overstick blend this, I want it kind of thin. 
remember okay so we're gonna have tea tree in one and bay rum and allspice in the other okay so I'm gonna use my spoon here and I'm gonna put in some French green clay. How's that look? We'll see what happens with that. Okay. Let's get pouring this one. We're going to pour it into our, can you see it? Okay. I think we're going to get two out of this one. Maybe. And we're gonna do our silicone molds here. When I first started making soap, you guys, this was one of the first soaps I made for men, and I'm still making it today. I love it. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna just kind of shimmy that down. I think I can get a little bit more into this one. Two for okay. Maybe we can do some little gift sets here or something because I want those other molds for my other. Nice to make samples. Sometimes I underestimate my mold situation and then I'm kind of rushing there. Samples are always good though, guys. I think we can add a little bit more to that one. What else do I have in here? Anything? One for my husband, why not? Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Yeah, that works for me. My husband's gone to a concert tonight with one of his buddies. <laughs> He's gone to see the Hoolies. When he can go out, I can play down here. That is done, y'all. Okay. I think we got kind of lucky with uh, setting that up. This is for my husband. <laughs> it's a dog treat container. I use these for my dog soaps, so. <laughs> They're all clean. And we can still play, look at this, very good. These will make some nice samples for somebody. bit too full maybe. Uh, you can't really see it down here. I'll take a picture of it. to work on that next one there okay I'm gonna shut you guys off quickly and I will be right back everyone okay see you in a minute from my other room so now we're done with the allspice now we're going to do the tea treat and I'm going to pour all of that in 
and we're just gonna mix it by hand. I'm not gonna stick blend this at all. Okay, and wow, does that ever smell antiseptic, you guys. And I think I'm gonna go ahead, no, you know what? I don't wanna add anything to it. I think I'm just gonna leave this natural because if I have, if I put any um, of that colorant in or green clay, this is gonna really set up too quickly. So this is gonna be all natural. That's what I've decided. See, last minute changes. So we're gonna get to pouring this because it's pourable. Natural. We'll take some pictures of it when we're done. I got a couple extra molds here. See, and all of a sudden, bang! After all of that work, you gotta work fast. One. Two. Whoop, three. Four. Five. Six. Why am I counting even? <laughs> oh, you guys, it's beautiful. It's a nice yellow color. It's really hard to tell. I'll take some pictures and I'll uh, put that at the end. And I have enough here, I think, to, um, I'm gonna level this out a little bit. Maybe put a little bit more on the top and we could do a fancy top here. With it. Give these a shake out. See if we can add anything else to any of these. <clears throat> Which I think we can. Fill them up. Got extra molds there, but I think we're okay. We'll make a nice fancy top on the top of these. takes the biggest part of soaping is preparing everything and I think I'm really gonna like this tea tree just plain we don't need colorants for it not for a medicinal soap the more natural the better it's gonna give this a bit of a skewer on the top here I think we still have room to play a little bit. We do. Excellent. Okay, let's see.
these uh, flower molds from Wish. They work out to about four and a half ounces, like leveled off, so. That's a good size bar, so. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. How exciting. And you know, I used to like wish I could make all of those nice fancy soaps, which I can. But when it comes, you know, to the end of the day, I think what people are really looking for is that natural bar soap. That's not also, you know, gonna just smell good, but also it's gonna serve a purpose in aiding your skin to becoming more healthy. You don't need all the fancy junk or the fancy colors. Ta-da! That is it, you guys. It's been almost three hours, but there's my fancy bun. We did it. So we've got two loaves of soap and 12 bars of soap. 13, 14, 15 over there and some samples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pictures of this and we'll put it at the end so you can see it. And then we'll come back in a day or two and we'll show you the cutting so um thanks for watching thanks for uh, joining me in my little soap escapade here today no fail no muss all went well double recipe very excited and uh if you like my videos and and uh you want to see more give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit the bell and you know all the stuff you're supposed to do I need to really grow my channel, so I'm hoping for more subscribers, and um, please leave me a comment or something. I'd really like to see the comments and see what people have to say and think. Thanks, guys. Peace. Well, hello everyone. It's a day off. <laughs> Yay, I love having days off. And here I am again, the soaper in the house coat, hey? But it's early morning now, and um, these have been sitting here for two days, because I was at work for two days, and I'm off today. So I thought, well, no, they're ready, and we can unbox them from the molds. So the first one we're going to start with is our allspice. Now this is the one I made for my husband. It's in the little dog treat thing, which I clean, but I save them because I do make dog soaps uh, with this particular mold. And I've already kind of given it a push out, but they're easy to push out. I push on the bottom and out it comes. And look at that. It's a nice bar soap. So even if I didn't give it to my husband, I could still sell it. But 
there we have it. So that's one. And you know what? Oh, it smells so good. So that's one. Now the next one I want to do are the little samples. And these ones have a design on the bottom, which I don't think you got to see. So hopefully it turns out. And yeah, it does look pretty. So it's just a little, like you could even use it as a travel size, you know, stick it in your, your suitcase or what have you, but they're beautiful. So we'll have four of these. So we'll take that one out of here and they all have a little bit of a different design. They're so pretty. Next. Look at that, you guys. And they all have, I sprinkle the allspice on the top and it also has it throughout. You can see it there. And just a little nice sample. So if I do anything with these, I'll put it in a set of four. Look at this one, y'all. Isn't that pretty? And this uh, mold I mean, it's deceiving when you order them off a wish. You know, I was hoping it would be a big mold, but it's not. But it's really thick um, silicone, and I like it. So, there we have it. We have a nice little set of four travel size. Beautiful. And we'll put that aside. The next ones I want to do are my other silicone molds here. And again, this is the Allspice. And these are really good silicone molds. You know, I've had these, I'm sure, like 10 years now. But this is the one that I was telling you about. It has the ripple design on it. And look at this. How pretty is that? And it's a nice size bar soap. Look at how pretty. Love it. And our little swirly design on the top. So we'll have two of these. Here's the next one. How gorgeous. I love it. It's the ripple design. And they smell so good, everybody. And that French green clay is gorgeous. And I can feel how conditioning these soaps are gonna be with that goat's milk. Beautiful. So there's two of those. Next one, we have four of the tree design flower and one leaf bar. Pop that out of there and look how pretty these turn out. And they're beautiful. You can see it says one leaf here and then it says flower essential oil. So we'll have four of these. So we'll pop them out of here. And these molds are really good from Wish. I have used them many times over. One more. Beautiful. I haven't used a French green clay for a while in any of my soaps, but that French green clay just kind of gives it a beautiful, beautiful natural green color. And it'll be a good slip with the razor if a man wants to use that for shaving. Okay, we are going to Wait for these ones. There is our leaf mold here. Or leaf mold. 
loaf mold. And this is again a mold from Wish. I really like these ones. They're very um, well made. They've stood up really well. They're thick and durable. And I don't think I paid much for them. I think I paid like maybe $8 or something. Okay. And we've popped it out of here. And it's beautiful, you guys. Look at that. And we're gonna turn this off for a minute and we'll adjust our camera and we're gonna cut these bars. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, so we've kind of come down to a different angle here. And um, sometimes I cut this edge off here, but uh, it's so smooth that I'm not going to. So we're just gonna cut it into a bar. Beautiful. And it smells so good. I usually get nine or 10 out of these. guys I left it a natural color put that aside and we'll take this out and it's coming out beautiful you guys oh my lord Wow, I don't know what the brown marks are. No idea. But does that ever smell like tea tree? Holy, once you take it out of there. That smell just hits you. And look how beautiful that is. Wow. 